Hi, welcome to Pixel Get, the video game talk show. I'm Ash Bowman, joined by Derek, Peter, and Matt. And today we're going to talk about the year of 2015. What is your least favorite game of the year? Well, uh, Chibi Robo Ziplash is my least favorite game of the year. Yeah, I, I played it today. I was still playing it because I want to just beat it so I could say I'm done with a game because I'm like, I just like beating games, but I forgot. I bought it like the day it came out because it came with a Chibi Robo like Amiibo. I just wanted that Amiibo. And then they had this game attached to it. And it seems like it was just like the Amiibo first and then the game. It's like they just like phoned in a game basically. It's just like piss poor and it sucks. So you bought it for the Amiibo? I bought it for the Amiibo. It, it was like 40 bucks, I think. So, but it's definitely the worst game of the year. So A plus marketing team. Yeah, they, you got this they sold a lot of Amiibos, <laughs> that's for sure. I didn't even know it was coming out and then it came out. It's just sh like really shitty level design and it just, it drags on. There's like five worlds, but it takes forever. Like, uh, I'm not even gonna explain it again, it's terrible. It's literally a terrible game. <laughs> My least favorite game? Uh, probably the Destiny disc that came with the Taken King. I just feel bad for anybody that spent money on like the Taken King and like just decided, oh, I'm gonna play through the Destiny campaign first because I want to know what I'm doing. Just like this is a huge waste of time. Mm. Just jump right into the Taken King and play the Destiny game that was supposed to be made the first time. But you'll miss all the story in Destiny. Remember oh, yeah. all yeah. the story that happens? It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I think the worst game I've played this year was Godzilla for the PS4. Space Godzilla has been weakened. How do you f that up? <laughs> it's Godzilla. Yeah. It's a giant monster. You, you're just destroying things, right? How could you mess that up, beating the crap out of other giant monsters? It was thoroughly unfun. The controls were abysmal. Like, you had to walk directly forward each time, and if you wanted to turn Godzilla, you, you'd have to press the bumpers and he'd go like this. Very slowly. Yeah, it's tank controls, right? Yeah, it, it was tank controls. Imagine Godzilla with tank controls. I love that because it makes you feel like heavy and lumbering. Like you got to reorient yourself before you start gaining momentum again. I think like the whole point of the game is you have to like walk around a city and destroy generators. It was it was abysmal, abysmal. I'm gonna say Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 <laughs> because that game was absolutely my childhood. Fairly sure they made the game on like a PlayStation 2 engine, Tony Hawk Pro oh. Skater 5. Like the graphic, it looks like garbage. I, I saw how bad it. it looked, yeah. It's garbage. It, yeah. The only thing that game had was level design. And the level design is the worst part of that new game. Yeah. Well, unless you consider the fact that it does not function as a game as a negative. Which yeah. I do. <laughs> it's an honorable mention for me because it's one of those games where if you had like a scale of like good and bad, it went so far into the bad that it looped around and came out good. And that's <laughs> WWE 2K16. <laughs> 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 Honestly, yes. I think that's the most fun I've had playing a video game this year was yeah. WWE 2 k and it. I only actually realized that it was bad because at, at first I only played it with like four people or just you and me first and yeah. then like with other people and it was really fun to just like rip on that game and, and like just try to actually make it function the way that you want it to because the controls are terrible. Uh, but then I went home later and I played it at home by myself and I was just like, this is the worst. <laughs> yeah. This is a terrible game. The physics are completely and, yeah, off. So you I walk in a chair, it just goes like flying no, across. I know. <laughs> It's a really, really bad game, but like in the right circumstances with your friends, just like wanting to play a so bad it's good game, it is like the perfect game for that. Thanks for watching the episode. What was your favorite game of 2015 and what are you looking forward to in 2016? Remember to comment below, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Pixel Game.